good morning to everybody and a special um, thanks to uh, our Secretary of State of the GDP. Thank you for honoring us in your presence. You are all very welcome to the University of Adair and I only want to say a few words. The stresses on mobility uh, changed recently, but they are all bad. Some 20, 20, 10 years ago, everybody was scared with the, because there was no, not enough oil. Then it was when everybody was speaking about the oil peak and things like that, that uh, we're going to run out of oil and uh, the big problem for mobility. Now, the scale is not this one, is too much CO2, uh, but the, the consequences are the same. We have to look at mobility and to the sources of energy. Uh, and there is also an old discussion, which is more from my field of interest, is, is mobility and uh, communications, are they complementary or substitutable? Do, 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 do they make synergy the more you have from one, the more you have from the other, or can they be substitute? It's a very interesting and difficult discussion, very difficult to have, there are many opinions. But now we are in a different level of discussion, which in my opinion is much more interesting. Is, that, is using telecommunication, information technology, not to substitute transport, but to make transport much more efficient than using less energy. For the same amount of transport, uh, less energy. I think this is a very interesting, interesting and important issue. And this university is especially, is especially uh, well prepared for this uh, thing because this is a combination of engineering and, and mechanics engineering, uh, environmental engineering and telecommunications engineering. And it happens that this university is very strong, uh, in some cases pioneer, in all these three types of knowledge. So uh, we are in the place which is uh, very well endowed for this sort of studies. Uh, I also want to say that uh, this is an important general discussion, but in particular I want to stress two fields where this is important. We want to, we are a university with uh, three, uh, three campus, one here, Ave in Agra and Ave in Oliveira de Zemeis. Even the campus here is being spread, and if you, uh, you consider also the science park, it stretches for three or four kilometers. So now the problem of uh, transport, of mobility between these different parts is very important. And uh, uh, I hope that uh, this sort of expertise, information technology, Environment engineering and mechanical engineering can make together a contribution for this. Other thing which is very important and I'm, I'm uh, uh, personally involved in is to look at the development of the border region, an interior portal of the border region in Spain. Uh, uh, in general, borders in Europe are places of connection, of economic development. Uh, for example, between Austria, Germany and France, Germany and Switzerland, so these borders are sometimes the most developing, developed parts of Europe. Here is the opposite. The border between Portugal and Spain is, uh, uh, includes the most aging parts, uh, population aging parts of all Europe. Uh, if you look at all the nursery regions in Europe, which are a few thousand, and you look at the 12 worst regions in terms of aging, uh, uh, these 12, six are Portuguese on the border, at the bottom, and three are Spanish regions on the other side of the border. So it's very important to not wrap this, and uh, there are many measures which should be taken, but transport and mobility is essential. Transport and mobility in low density areas, for example, mobility for schools, 
uh, transporting because the, the, a lot of the schools were closed because there is the running out of students and it's necessary to transport the kids from big distances to the schools. So this is made huge cost for municipalities and a very important field for uh, improving and making it more efficient. Using several transport means, cars which are uh, stopped for 90% of the time can be used for different uses. It's a problem of uh, rules and regulation and so on. It's a difficult one, should be done. Uh, uh, optimizing uh, the, the time and the, the parts of, of the transport means and so on. This is a very interesting uh, uh, problem which uh, must be solved. And also connecting two systems of transport and two legal systems, the Spanish and the Portuguese one, to make something which works together and makes it much more efficient. Uh, so, I gave two examples. I couldn't stay here to tell you, uh, speaking about 1,000 examples of the importance of using information technologies to make transport and mobility more efficient. So, this is a very key subject, and uh, congratulations for this project. Thank <laughs> you.